They know the world of professional wrestling has been going on since the early 20th century, and to this day is still alive and growing. My love for professional wrestling has grown ever since I saw it at the age of five. My uncle from my dad's side was also a wrestler in Mexico, so it's safe to say it's in my blood. I'll talk about three things that go into wrestling, which is the organization of the match, the second the most important part is how to protect you and your opponent in the match, and lastly, how to do a promo. So let's start with the organization of the match. When I was doing a YouTube channel with my cousin, which me and him did wrestling matches under the name World Wide Wrestling, he wrote the matches before he filmed them. In this, you want to keep people invested from the beginning. So what we do is we either start with us locking up and switching around headlocks, or go straight to throwing punches. My advice is to lock up to start the match because it is safer, and it keeps the crowd into the match. After that, the middle of the match is where you want to tell the bigger story of it, so you want to start with more punches and kicks and diverse types of special moves throughout the crowd. For example, the types you'll see in the middle will be like super kicks, power bombs, hakianas, and insigiris, and dives to the outside, just to name a few. These things will keep the fans alive and in tune with the match. During this time, you might also want to get the crowd in shock by doing pinfalls to tease the end of the match, but do not end the match just yet. To end it, you want a big finish, so me and my cousin would make it so the finish is out of nowhere and unexpected before the end of the match, do not do pinfalls so people forget about it, and remember the action that's going on in the ring. And if suddenly your opponent is about to run at the other wrestler, you want the other wrestler to hit the finisher out of nowhere so the referee will count 1 to 3. And that will end the match. Firstly, we talked about the organization of the match from start to finish. Now, we're going to talk about one of the most important things in wrestling is protecting you and your opponent. As all of you know by now, professional wrestling is not real. But it does not mean the moves do not hurt. Because like I tell you experience, they do. So, and for example, you're doing moves, you need to make sure you're pinching it for real. And when you hit them, make sure you step on the ground so it sounds louder than it is. For example, this. So, when you punch them, make sure you step on the ground, and I'll show this in a demonstration. When you punch them, you push with your hand, and then you step on the ground, so it sounds loud, but you're not hitting it for real. And secondly, you, for a clothesline, you make sure your arm isn't pushing too much on the throat. So, he's going to run at me. As you can see, he's not hurt at all. Then the big one is the chair shot. For your chair shot in the stomach, when you hand, when you hand it, make sure your hand is on the tip of the chair, so when you hit him, you hit him in the stomach and it doesn't hurt. You want to drink fast when you hit him in the back, but then hit them slowly and slowly again. And you're going to react to it. As you see, he gets a fine and it's a hurt at all. And lastly, submissions. When you do this, um, you're not putting anything on the body at all. Um, so, for example, this. When you do it, you're going to hit it. As you see, I'm not doing anything really. And he's fine. Because it's all sunny, which is a key point to the match, which is reacting to the move and making it seem real when it isn't. So, now that we talked about Organization of a match from start to finish, and then we talked about how to protect yourself and your opponent. Let's talk about promos and how to do them. What promos are in wrestling is speeches you give before the match to sell it in the wrestling card for a pay per view or a special event. Then there's going to be about five matches or more in the card. So when you do a promo, you want to make it seem your match is the most important on there and make people invested in it and want to see it and make it more talked about than the other matches. So when cutting a promo, it seems hard, but it really isn't. When doing a promo, all you gotta do is make your tone in a certain way so you make yourself sound more emotional or angry, and make sure you sound believable, because when the promo is happening in the ring, you wanna start the match and make like what is going on in the storyline is real, and what you're saying in the promo is important and adds something to the match. When cutting a promo, a good guy promo that is, you want to make it emotional, so talk about what the match means to you and what it could do for you in your career. If you could make yourself teary eye a bit, that make it seem more legit when doing this promo. Don't talk much about the person you had the match with, but more about you. 
If you want to do, if you want to do a bad guy promo, talk about how you're going to beat them and how bad you're going to hurt them and how you're going to take the title from them. Unlike the emotional promo, you're talking about all the bad stuff and evil things you're going to do in the ring. Do not yell during this promo. It's not a smart idea because then they'll make it harder to understand you. So when you make an angry promo, make sure your voice is rough and more deep in so it sounds mean or threatening without needing to yell and scream. Make sure you do not keep your eyes off your opponent. Um, con- eye contact makes it more serious and makes it more valuable and adds to the chemistry you and your opponent should have and make it make it have keeps the crowd invested and keeps you and your opponent and what you're doing invested, which is super important. In conclusion, that is the world of pro wrestling. And I have one question for you. Do you think you can handle it? <laughs>